Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about systems of two equations, and we're going to solve each system by substitution. So, if I was given this system, 4x plus 2y equals 10, and my second equation, x minus y is equal to 13. Well, not one of my variables is already isolated, but I know on the second equation, I can get um, x by itself very quickly. I just have to add a y to both sides, so I'm going to do that. So I can rewrite the second equation to be uh, really adding a y to both sides, right? And x equals 13 plus y, which is y plus 13. Okay, pretty simple. So with that being said, okay, so again, this is still equation number two. Okay, equation number two. I'm going to take that x equals y plus 13, I'm going to plug it in for the x in this equation. So, we have 4 times, the second equation comes down, 4 times, well instead of x, I'm going to put y plus 13, right there, plus 2y equals 10. And from here, I'm trying to solve, okay, I'm going to solve for y. Well, I had to distribute the 4 across, right, 4 to the y, so 4 to the y is easy, 4y. And 4 to the 13 is what? 4 times 10 is 40 plus 4 times 3 is 42. 52. We have 52 there, and then we add a 2y, and that's equal to 10. All right, so let's go subtract the 52 to both sides. Combine the 4y and 2y. Well, 4y plus 2y is a 6y, and when I subtract 52 to both sides, it's uh, 10 minus 52, which is a negative 42. Okay? All right. Now, from here, we want to get y by itself, so I'm going to divide y, or sorry, not divide y, divide 6 uh, to both sides here, 6 to both sides. Okay, divide by 6 to both sides, give me y by itself, which I'll write right there, is a negative, well, 6 goes into 42, uh, 7 times. Okay? So we have a negative 7 right there. Alright? Negative 7. So, we have y equals negative 7, I need to plug it back into one of my other equations to find the x value. Now, Luckily for me, the second equation looks pretty easy. So, I'm going to rewrite the second equation. x minus y equals 13. I'm going to plug that 7 in for the y. Okay, and the negative 7 for the y. So, we have x minus a negative 7 equals 13, which is really x plus 7 equals 13. So, now, because we have to subtract the negative, it's possible. I'm going to subtract the 7 to both sides leaving me x equal to be 13 minus 7, which is a positive 6. So our x value is positive 6, our y value is negative 7. Together, they come to the coordinate point, which is our final answer, 6 comma negative 7. And there we have it. So let's recap. We're given our two equations, 4x plus 2y equals 10, and x minus y equals 13. I got the second equation to have x by itself. I then plugged a y plus 13 in for x in the first equation, right there. I simplify by distributing the 4 across, and combine 4y and 2y to be 6y, and fit to, or subtract 52 to both sides to get a negative 42 on the right. Divide both sides by 6, not y, to get y by itself to be a negative 7. From there, I plug that negative 7 into the second equation, okay, and uh, right there, and so we negative 7 in for the y, and then negative times a negative is a positive, and I subtract 7 to both sides, give me x by itself, and x by itself was 6. So again, our final answer is just um, x is 6, y is negative 7, comes together as a coordinate point at 6, negative 